Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Nichi Joe episode number 23 reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um, a lot of things happened. Uh, the first thing that happened was that kid um, forgot his name with the mohawk. He thought he was being possessed and goes to the <laughs> to the priest and like you know like a lot of shenanigans happens over there. He almost broke the whole building down again and the priest was freaked out by the end and uh, yeah and there was a few other things like uh, there was that uh, thing with um, misato's sister you know trying to get like one point from um mio's sister and you know like stuff happened over there and then there was that part with um weboshi and fet them talking about you know like not to take anything seriously how you know, you know the whole meat bun falls down and things escalate little by little after like you know the the, the popsicle falls down and you know they almost like they, they try to be positive by the end but unfortunately by the end of it they are unable to stay positive with the amount of bad luck they were getting <laughs> so yeah that was funny and the funniest part of the previous episode was definitely where Hakase goes on a walk with Sakamoto and runs across um, Mai's two dogs Mai leaves her dog over there and the dog starts traumatizing those two and <laughs> And Yuko and Mio <laughs> tries to calm him down and the dog bites them and like you know like they like completely just destroy the whole town by shouting so loud and <laughs> that was funny you know, like the whole bean that comes out of their mouth and uh, yeah in the end uh, it was crazy so yeah stuff happens and all that so that's that's where it ended so let's see what happens today this is episode number 23 let us begin I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I feel like... Is it a vacation or something? Is, 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 it, is it a holiday? Oh, never mind. Hey, someone's already here. Who is that? Oh my god. You know what I thought was going to happen? You know that joke of um, like someone coming to school and thinking that, oh, they're, you know, they're the first one to come here. And then they realize that it's actually a holiday. That joke. I thought this was going to happen. But turns out no, it's a normal school day. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I feel like Oh no. Is it like chili chili jam or something? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. 
No. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. How far is the okay there you go? Oh no, it's out of order. Any water bottle from the yeah fridge refrigerator? Oh my god, wow. <laughs> she filled it with jam. What is it? Like, is it that bad? Oh no, what? She's having a flashback, what the hell? Oh my god, she's... <laughs> she's getting a full-on flashback. <laughs> it's so bad. Here, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> she almost died. Just having flashbacks and all. Exactly. Did, sh did you taste it? Rotten fish. Is is she correct? No, oh no. <laughs> Fermented fish. Jam. What? Oh my god! I can't even imagine what type of a taste that would be. Hmm. All right, another random scene. Okay, this scenery, I've seen this scenery in so many animes, so many visual novels that that one bridge with water underneath it is crazy. Oh no, what's she going to do now? Well, oh, untidy. Oh, no, oh, no. Um, yeah, I don't think you should. Blu-ray. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, she has your in its office yo you have the book with you oh lord <laughs> cool Everything's perfect where it is. Oh boy. Is he like okay? He's doing he's doing workout. <laughs> Did he not realize that that's in her hand? He didn't realize. He's like, oh, it's my friends. It's not mine. 
My friends put it here. <laughs> Wait, is that Yuko? What the? <laughs> There you go. I knew it. He was going to say that. <laughs> well, mm. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh, she's gonna throw it away. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. He's, he, he's gonna blame it on someone, some of his friend or something. <laughs> Delinquent. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, she's clearly lying. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I knew it is. <laughs> Future plan survey. Global warming. What? What type of an answer is that? <clears throat> <laughs> oh boy, I'm interested in what she's going to say. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, that's that's a <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, finally, someone understands. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, is this a relay race? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, please don't miss. Please don't miss. <laughs> wow. It's perfect. <laughs> wow! What? Oh. Oh. Hey, his hair is gone. You see? <laughs> My dogs. <laughs> Uh, well, you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, he's just <laughs> Well What? Wait, what? Why is he? <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Oh, but his Mohawk is gone now. Mohawk is gone. He he's. <laughs> Whoa! What they like? Oh damn! <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Yeah, why suddenly? What? Yeah? Oh no! He has like... Evidence and all. It's probably their picture or something. What's going on? Wait, is that so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's... Yeah, oh my god. Um... <laughs> Well, at this point, I feel like he's like, let's go. Oh, oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Hungry wolf. <coughs> yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, at least they got an advisor, you know. One Q. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, he's completely, he, he doesn't have any hair. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll be like, yep, I knew it. <laughs> well, they were just here for his mohawk, so. Ah, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow back, no problem. Just, just wait a few months. Wait, is this Yuko? I feel like this is Yuko, isn't it? Love light. Alright. Hmm. Oh, is, is she not in? What?
What? Yeah, like not even. <laughs> oh my god, no, stop, please don't. Okay, this is one of those videos, you know, in YouTube you have like unsatisfying, the most unsatisfying video. Uh, hey, is that Saitama? What the hell? <laughs> wow. Somebody please help me. <laughs> oh yeah, she was kind of listening to them. You know in classroom when they're talking about the dogs and all? Ah, Hakka says here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. He probably has some shark candy or something. Let's... Oh, what? No. He wants shark candy. Give. <laughs> Give us something shark related. Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh my god, what? Uh. Shark, probably. There you go, shark. All right, he's also making a shark. Yo, that's nice. Well made. <laughs> shark that's smiling. Uh. Wait, where is she? I'm going home. <coughs> oh, okay. Probably to make friends with her, yeah. Because she was hearing that, you know, the whole dog section. <laughs> Exchanged. <laughs> oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, that's nice. In the end, I'm guessing, yeah, she definitely came to just, to just, you know, like kind of make friends with her because she, <laughs> she didn't realize that the dogs were like, you know, like traumatized her. So probably came to, I don't know, make friends with her and yeah, that's, that's definitely. Oh. Is this Hakase and who's the other voice? Is that Mai? One of the voices is Hakase's voice. The other voice is that Mai's voice or is it Nano's voice? Probably Mai's voice, isn't it? Okay. 
Oh, so there you go. This short thoughts. Oh no, word of the day. Sorry. What? What's what's going on? Um. <laughs> Okay, the I've heard this voice. Hodie Yui. I've heard her voice before, I don't remember where. Hodie Yui. Okay, let's see. Hodie Yui. Pretty sure I'm familiar with her, but I cannot properly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where have I heard her voice before? Oh, Hanekawa, isn't it? From Monogatari? Alright, let me check. Uh, here we go. Horie, you, uh, you, Yui Horie, okay. Um, what, what characters? Basket, Kanon, Rashi. Oh, Hanyu in Higurashi, okay. Uh, oh, Kushida from Tuadora, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, Subasa Hanekawa from Monogatari. Carla in Fairy Tale, yeah. Wheels in Konosuba, yeah, 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 okay, there you go. Any, any recent animes that she has done, let's see. Uh, Princess Connect. King. Else. Shaman King. Iron Maiden Jun. Yeah. Shadow's House. Eileen. Um, La Brava. Okay. From My Hero. Yeah. La Brava. Quite a few. Quite a lot of animals. She, like voice acting she has done. We Zero Felix. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, and and a lot of other shows I can see. You know, any video games? Let's see. Video games. Let's see. Eight Grand Order. Oreo and Charlotte Cordy from Fate Grand Order. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Charlotte Cordy. Yeah. All right. There you go. So it's quite a lot of animes and. Uh, <clears throat> games she's voice acted and, and yeah i was i was like yeah i've heard this voice somewhere before where have i heard it and there you go i was like yeah hanekawa hanekawa subasa from monogatari all right this episode we begin with <laughs> we begin with yuko coming in and she's like oh i'm first in class and she like does some weird things like stag beetle and all of that like you know kind of doing it like it like that and then when the teacher comes in, she gets embarrassed and she's like, oh, like, I, I hope you, you know, like, you, you didn't see that. Or even if you see, saw that, please don't tell anyone. <laughs> and then we see that <laughs> Nano is already there from the beginning and she was just, I don't know why she was hiding. Like, I have no idea why she was hiding. She probably got embarrassed when she saw her doing that stuff. She probably, she probably instant they kind of hid or something like that <laughs> but anyways like i said i this section i kind of thought you know like that joke where characters go into the school he said they're the first time like you know, they're, they're first in their class and then think like oh i'm the first and then realize it's still holiday and they came in like a holiday or something like that the teacher comes in and they're like what the hell are you doing here today is a holiday go back home and that joke i thought it was going to happen <laughs> but yeah it was not that <clears throat> All right, the next part is Mio and uh, her sister, you know, her sister made a jam and her sister was, uh, okay, so will you taste test it for me? Mio was like, oh, what made you like, you know, suddenly made you decide that you're going to make jams and stuff? Are you getting more feminine or something? It's like joking around. And then she licks the jam and she's like, <laughs> she's like, this is awful. And she just cannot 
he falls on the ground completely just you know writhing in pain <laughs> his sister is like oh here you go tea and who the hell gives him tea in that moment hot tea and like what did she say hot russian tea or something and she she obviously in, she's in pain so she probably just drank it and she's like oh my god it's too hot and when the hotness kind of goes away then she's like wait a minute this also tastes bad the tea is also just awful and then she goes in a complete cycle again she, the you know, sister is like here you go more jam <laughs> you know to cool her down <laughs> and then she brought up again she brought tea to like you know just help her wash down the jam but she's like no i'm i'm not falling for your tricks again she runs to the kitchen to get water and oh the water supply has been stopped currently and i'm like why not why not like you know i'm, I'm pretty sure you have water in like you know somewhere else in your room or something you know <clears throat> maybe like uh, you know like maybe maybe some drink or something you have you know refrigerator <clears throat> and that's what she thought she's like okay let me go to the refrigerator and get some milk and she opens the refrigerator and uh, she has milk uh, beside the milk is probably tea or something like that i'm guessing you know, in, in pet bottles those tea that you have and beside it i'm not sure what that is this is a yellow bottle but either way she grabs the milk and starts drinking and then she's like oh my god what the hell is this 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 is not milk and her sister is like, I've, oh, I've, I thought like, you know, I'm going to change the milk into jam. I just put jam inside it. <laughs> and she's like, what the hell is this? And uh, then she gets like a whole flashback. She gets flashback from her childhood, you know, like from when she was in that, uh, like, you know, the, uh, what do you call them? Those baby crib that you get, you know, for children, for little children. <clears throat> when she was in the baby crib. From there she gets her flashback, like, you know, all the things that she has done, how her sister used to just, you know, torment her. <laughs> and then <clears throat> her school graduation, you know, everything. <clears throat> like, then, like, you know, meeting Sasahara, <clears throat> not meeting, but kind of looking at him. And then um, uh, playing with her friends in school, you know, like, then that whole fish incident, she, she remembers the fish incident, you know, the one with um uh what's her name um yuko where <laughs> she brought like salmon for him her uh, using her money and she got pissed off at that that whole scene she remembers and the whole uh, like you know rice cake in like an you know, incident of like you know putting you know the 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 mask on her and a few other like you know stuff she starts remembering and you know this is like one of those scenes where you know they kind of do this in anime they kind of joke around of when like you know people like almost die not almost die but like you know they like eat something extremely uh, terrible or something and they're like almost dying uh like they say something like oh i was almost like you know on the going on the other side you know i, I saw my dead grandmother over there <laughs> waving to me and i was like going towards that direction which obviously implies that he was going to he or she was going to die <laughs> It was so bad. You know, they, like this, they kind of over exaggerate in anime. They kind of did that completely, you know, like that that whole thing of seeing your life flash in front of your eyes before your death or whatever. You know, that that thing. The, she just had like a whole flashback in a matter of few seconds. And she <laughs> she's like, what the hell? I, I almost died. And I got like a whole flashback of my whole life. And your sister is like, oh, I thought it was bad. So it is bad, isn't it? And she's like, what the hell? Like, why did you make something this bad? And she's like, all right, so enough about you, all that. You guess what was used to make this jam. And she's like, probably some fish or something. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you're close. And she brings out, what does she bring out? Fermented fish jam. Oh my God, like, what is that? Is that actually a thing? Do people I have no idea? Do people actually eat fermented fish jam? Is that actually a thing or something? Probably because I don't know, like you know, this world has so many stuff that we can't even imagine. But fermented fish like f I hate fish. I I just like, except a few fishes. There's a few fishes that I like. Except them, most of the fishes I just hate. I don't like it. And especially like you know smell of the raw fish and everything i'm pretty sure that everyone 
kind of is bothered by the smell of raw fish and all so i just can't imagine the taste of a fermented fish jam oh my god i'll probably throw up pretty sure <laughs> yeah <clears throat> that's very done and uh, in the middle of these like you know like the way we get like some random scenes here we see that random scene a girl comes and like, you know, like starts painting in front of that in the river and yeah and this is another thing i've i don't know why but is this like a i, I don't know is, that, is this like an actual place i'm pretty sure this is like an actual place in japan where there's like a bridge you know like i've seen like in every anime in every manga in every visual novel i've played i have seen this scenery every in every like kind of manga anime whatever like a sloping you know a sloping green like you know what do you call it like a plot of land and uh, there's like a water body blowing you know kind of passing through uh and there's like a bridge you know and uh, like people kind of sit over there and like you know kind of like every anime i remember i remember seeing this scene in gintama all other anime like you know this this scenery of the slanted like you know uh place with a bridge and a river every anime i've seen it it's this is one of the most common sceneries in anime manga visual novels anything you know and i'm really curious is this like an actual place i'm pretty sure it's an actual place you know like this this kind of a place actually exists and they put like they just love putting this scenery in every anime manga and everything so it's crazy like you know i've seen this scene so many scenery so many times and i've always wondered what's up with that like you know is this like a actual place i'm pretty sure it is otherwise why would they put this scenery in every you know anime <clears throat> now either way um, after that we get to oh uh, yeah what i was saying i'm pretty sure that girl was yuko who was painting because she kind of looks at the camera a little bit and I thought that was Yuko. Now, the next scene, we see uh, a boy. <laughs> Hakase comes to her room. Sakamoto is sleeping. She just lies down on top of Sakamoto. <laughs> that was funny. Now, the next scene is, oh, Sakurai sensei and, uh, you know, like goes to her uh, brother's room untidy obviously and she's like oh my god this this boy always keeping everything untidy like you know, how much all the time i ask him to clean he never does okay let me let me clean this up properly and i was like oh, you know what i can this is one of those tropes in anime i've seen so many times you know like like uh, if there was like a bed here it would be underneath that bed you know <laughs> there was no bed here there was a futon it was underneath that futon so yeah, a DVD or sometimes it varies, you know, in different anime. Usually it's a book, but wait, was this a DVD or was this a book? Oh no, it's a, it, oh, it's a book or is it a DVD? I'm not sure. But anyways, um, you know, it's either a DVD or a book or something else or some like, you know, games or something, but all the time, you know, like this is one of those tropes. You know the the, the 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 porn stash or whatever the hell <laughs> and she gets in she kind of looks like peeking out and i'm like oh my god please don't please don't do that like you know and she obviously she takes it out and she's like what is this and she realizes she opens it you know she was almost going to open it and her brother comes in and he's like sister what are you doing here and he's like he's like what are you doing here like you know go out like you know you don't need to clean here i'm fine with this you know like it's better in this manner you know like i have everything where i want to and <laughs> just kicks her sister out of his room she didn't even notice that his sister had it in her hand and kicks her out with it so sakurai sensei is like okay so let's see what this is about and <laughs> she opens the book she reads it <laughs> and she's like all right i need to scold him now she gets in and she's like and he's like what the hell why are you not knocking while getting in and she complains like why are not you not cleaning your room and he's like i don't need to clean my room like you know if you go out you don't come and instead unless and until you knock and uh, again she comes in and she's like oh i need to scold you for this you're too young for this and shows him the the dvd or the book or whatever that was and that's when it hits him. He's like, oh my God, he actually found it. 
<laughs> and then she's like, he's like, now I was pretty sure he was going to say something like, oh, it's my friends, you know, like my friends came to my room and just gave, like, you know, put it over here. I didn't even know about it. Like, and I'm unaware of this. This is my friends. I'm in no way involved in this, you know, this, because that's the best way to kind of get out of this situation. Just, just blame it on your friends, you know, like, <laughs> oh my God. And he says the same thing. He's like, oh, it's like, it's not mine. You know, like, you know, I'm, I, I don't even know what it is. You know, what is that? I, I've never seen that before. And, you know, like both are embarrassed. And in the end, he's like, oh, that, that belongs to club president. It's not mine. You know, why are you touching it? You know, like, give it back. And he just takes it. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, don't come to my room again, you know, like, and you, I don't even know, need you to lecture me. And all of that just throws her out again. And he's like, oh my God, I, I, you know, I, I, I want to live alone. And again, she comes in. She's like, Wako chan, are you mad? And he's like, no, I'm not mad. You go out. Again, kicks her out. He's like, oh. Now, she kind of realizes that she probably went a bit too far, you know, like everyone has their personal space, everyone has their personal stuff, so she shouldn't have done that. So she's like, oh, maybe I went a little bit too far. So she kind of goes back to her, to the living room, and then she's like, wait a minute. Um, okay, what does she say? Oh, she talks about dinner. Oh yeah, she's like, oh, I forgot to ask him about dinner. So she again goes to her his room and she's like, oh, I, I was going to ask for delivery. So what do you want to eat? Probably going to say that. And he's like, why can't you knock? <laughs> okay, the next scene is scene where you go and uh, <laughs> Sakurai Sensei and, you know, like with the whole character, uh, career, like, you know, form that they give out. Um, Yuko has gotten one and she's asking her about her future aspirations and all that and it's written things you are interested in now which probably means what you want to do in the future you know that type of thing and she has written global warming <laughs> declining birth rate aging population <laughs> she's like okay I, I'm pretty sure you did not understand what I was going to uh, what, what what this question meant but I meant that, you know, like, um, do you have any type of dream or a goal? And she's like, yeah, um, I want to, what did she say? I want to watch television or something? Just a second. Okay. I would like to be on, oh, I would like to be on television once in a lifetime. And she's like, ah, I guess that's a dream, but I don't mean that, you know, anything related to a career that you want to do and she's like um oh i i want to become a good teacher like you and sakura says like ah finally finally someone understands me you know like she, she <laughs> like obviously sakura sensei wants to be like a good teacher you know all the time she's striving for that trying to be a better teacher and all that and when someone says like oh i, I want to be a teacher like you she's like ah finally someone saw Someone is like, you know, like someone understands what I try to do and what I'm like, you know, trying to be. And uh, you know, that like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my effort. Someone has recognized that and she starts crying. That's, that's kind of sweet because obviously, you know, like who wouldn't be happy if, you know, someone says like, oh, I want to be just like you are, you know, when I grow up, I'm pretty sure everyone will be proud a little bit, you know, something like that. Like if they're doing like a respectable job, you know, like teaching, any type of job which is respectable. I'm calling, I'm telling that's a respectable job because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other shady jobs people do. So I don't think <laughs> if someone, if someone does a shady job and someone says like, oh, I want to be just like you when I grow up, the other person, I don't think they'll be happy. That's why I'm saying respectable, good job. If someone does it, teaching, you know, any kind of job, which is good, which is like, like you know like doing something good you're not breaking any laws or something if someone tells the other person like oh i want to be just like you when i grow up you know they'll, they'll obviously be happy you know i feel that's that's like an universal thing i think but like i said like you know respectable good job which is not breaking any laws oh boy now the next one is 
Helvetica standard and <laughs> this part was funny. This is like a, a like a relay race or like a you know the baton pass race what's happening. And the guy's like, okay, this is the final, this is the final race we're going to do for our school. You know, let's win this. And he, he's like kind of giving the ribbon to the other guy, and the other guy starts running and he keeps running. You know, no one gets the ribbon and he falls down and <laughs> the whole game he his team has to retire and yeah, that was unfortunate. They didn't, they wasn't able to get the win. I'm pretty sure. All right, the next scene, this part is kind of important because we get like a continuation of this in the end where we see Yuko, Mio and uh, Nano talking about, you know, like uh, what happened on the previous episode. They say on our way home, we met professor and ended up getting bitten by dogs and stuff. And Nano's like, oh, that seems like trouble. And she's like, please tell Professor we'll drop by again soon. And Mai kind of listens to it, you know. And that's where that scene ends, which continues later on, you know, like this part continues later on. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm obviously I'm 100% I'm sure here. Like she probably listened to that and she probably realized that, oh, because of me and my dogs, uh, they were probably not able to go to, uh, like, you know, Hakase and play with her. And Hakase was probably looking forward to that. That's why she probably felt bad a little bit. And that's why later on, at the end of the episode, she went to play with Hakase herself. You know, to kind of, what do you call it? To kind of compensate previous day and something like that. But either way, the next part we see, oh boy. <laughs> Sakurai, Sakurai's brother. He goes to, uh, what's his name? Takaoka sensei, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's his name. The guy who likes Sakurai, Sakurai goes to him and he's like, wait, you promised to be the advisor. Why have you not come? And he's forgotten completely. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? I never said that. And I, we never had like a game or whatever. And he's like, you know, we had a game, you know, like, you remember I like, you know, I said that if I win, you'll be advisor. Then he remembers and he's like, wait a minute, that was a draw. Like, you know, I, I've never lost. What the hell? And, uh, <laughs> And then he starts blackmailing him. He's like, all right, so you want to do that? Okay, then I'll tell everyone that, you know, you like my sister. <laughs> he's like, fine, lead the way. And they go to the club and he's obviously very happy because, you know, the soccer go club is going to start with a proper advisor. But as soon as they open the door, they see um, Daiku, I think that's his name, that guy. And the, other, the girl, the, the girl who's in the, you know, like who's part of the soccer go club. They are over there. And uh, <clears throat> they are like, I mean, he, was, he was kind of showing her something, I'm guessing. Right. Oh, uh, they're going to recruit more members. Yeah. That's what and she kind of, he kind of misunderstand. And he's like, oh, like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> Takaka sensei just leaves, runs away. And <laughs> they go to the roof. Oh, while going to the roof. You know, like a few scenes happens over here, one after the other. We see Weboshi and Fett, they are actually going to meet, um... Ah, I forgot his name again. I, I don't know why, but I can never remember his name, the Mohawk guy. And then tries to go to his, his classroom, you know, because he, she, she wants to confess. She loves Mohawks and she just, you know, that's fine. And I'm like, oh boy, do I have news for you. Recently, he lost all his hair. But it's going to grow back very soon, so not to worry about it. <laughs> but yeah and uh, because you know they kind of like you know like they kind of like the whole punk look to someone and you know mohawk is like one of the most punk looks so that's why they want to like you know she wants to confess and all that and while this was happening we see uh takaoka and um Takura's brother going to the roof and it's raining and takaoka sensei is over there and he's like what the hell why did you run away and uh Takasaki, not Takaoka. Wait, is Takaoka the, the guy's name? Oh my god, I'm mix, mixing everything up. Wait a minute, who is Takaoka then? Oh god. I feel like I missed their, I mixed their names up. Wait, is there no one called Takaoka in this show? I feel like there is someone in this... In this, um... In this show called Takaoka, but who is it? Wait, does this show not, not have anyone called Takaoka? Was, was I 
Oh my god, I feel like I mixed his name up with someone. Anyway, um, yeah, the teacher's name is Takasaki. All right, not Takaoka. Okay. So yeah, Takasaki. Um, they're in the roof, and um, Sakura's brother is like, like, what? What's going on? Like, why did you run away? And uh, he, he's like, you know, denies, and he's like, no, I'm not going to become the like you know member because he's like you see i have some things and starts like you know just completely just saying weird things <laughs> and he's like all right fine you know like you 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 have actually made me take out my trump card so he takes out something from his pocket and it's a picture of sakurai sensei in her high school days and he's like what, what is this and he's like yeah if you, if you become the club's advisor i'll give it to you and he's like Oh, I cannot. Like, this is a tough decision. Like, I don't know what to do. Should I be taking bribes like this from a student? Like, that's that's like a, a severe violation of the teacher code. You know, like I shouldn't accept any bribes from any from anyone, let let alone a student. And you know, he's like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. He, he's going to give it to him, and then he stops, and he's like, puts it back in his pocket, and he's like, All right, fine. You got me. You have a deal. So let's go. Now that I've become your club advisor, I'm going to just be the, the most strict person than ever. Like, you know, we're, we're going to become, uh, like, you know, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be training you guys very, like, you know, severely. Like, you know, like, I'll come from tomorrow. Uh, now follow me. <laughs> Sakura's brother is extremely happy. They've got a club advisor. Now the Soccer Go Club actually begins. So, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Now, the next scene, oh boy, here we go. Uh, they come to the class, you know, the class where the Mohawk guy is. Okay, what's his name? Mm, just a second, let me check. Naka no Jo, there you go, that's his name. Oh boy, I, I understand why I always forget his name. His name is a little bit difficult to remember. Naka no Jo. So, she's like, oh, is Naka no Jo here? And I was like, oh, you are going to have one of the biggest surprises of your life. And out comes Nakanojo and he's completely bald. You know, because previous episode he lost all his hair by taking out that mask. And uh, <laughs> and they're like, what the hell? I, did, I didn't know this was going on. Yeah. Alright, the next part is the love like where a dad and, her, uh, and his daughter, his daughter is like, oh, like, you know, did I pass? Can you please go? in front and look at the you know like the the list dad and his her dad goes checks it and i don't know what the hell happened he, he was kind of hesitating i don't know i think he probably did not pass or something otherwise why would he act like this he says like you know like kind of does this like i'm guessing she was like you know i think like this means like you know it's okay you've got it you know but he kind of does this which means nothing i guess so he was probably hesitating to tell the news that her daughter did not wasn't able to get in. I think that's sad, you know. Like if if she wasn't able to get in, that's kind of sad. Ah, oh, but either way. Oh, the next part. This part is just so hilarious. You know, like those uh, like YouTube videos you have. It's written like most unsatisfying video. You know, and like stuff happens where there's like you know like you you like making like a like I've seen those videos where. There's like a, something happens which kind of makes you uncomfortable, you know, like or doesn't like, you know, for example, you're probably like you're putting like, you know, like using a ruler to like, you know, draw straight lines and then in one of the lines, you kind of like you know, completely go in a bad direction and like all the lines are perfectly okay, stacked, but the last one's like this and you're like, oh my God, that's so unsatisfying. You know? I, I, it, this part reminds me of that where it's unsatisfaction and at the same time, not like you know unlucky sections of Yuko's life where well, the first thing that happens is when she's erasing that the whole page tears and oh my god I have to say this happened so many times in my life try to erase something is not erasing kind of give more pressure to it and bam the whole page tears off and I'm like what the hell not only that, uh, the next one where she's uh, putting milk in it, I'm guessing, it's like it runs out. And some gum gets stuck in her uh, shoes. She sits on a uh, bench to see it's 
actually wet paint. Um, <laughs> the bi I, I'm, I think that's her bicycle, isn't it? Her bicycle, the place where her seat should be. There's like a broccoli in that part. <laughs> And the last part I don't understand. With the the kites, I have no idea what that means. There's a dog and a, and a and a person. I don't know why, but that person shaped uh, kite reminded me of Saitama. And then the other one where she's she's sitting down and like people are like you know on top of her shoulders sleeping. And the train stops in the middle of the tracks. You know. Completely unlucky day. And she's like, somebody help me, please. <laughs> okay. The next part is where we see Mai. Now, here's where we kind of resume from that section. Mai has come to Hakase's house. And, uh, you know, like she has brought like snacks and everything. And Mio is, uh, Nano's like, oh, you're here. Why are you here? And she's like, oh, I've just come to play. And... Uh, <laughs> Hakase comes out fuming. She's like, oh this girl, this girl is the one who just used her dogs to torment us. You know? And Nano listens to it and Nano's like, okay, I'm gonna make some tea. Like obviously what could she say over that? She just she just goes. <laughs> and Hakase and Nano as uh, and Mio Mai are just sitting under the kotasu and Hakase is just staring daggers at her and I was thinking I was like you know what only one thing she needs is something shark related she's going to completely forgive her in matters of seconds like if she brings up some shark candy or whatever the hell she'll, she'll immediately forgive her you know and <laughs> but obviously Mai doesn't know that so Mai brings out like one of those statues that she makes and she tries to like you know kind of make friends with her by giving it to her and she's like what the hell I don't want that that's lame you know and she's like, okay, then uh, here you go. And brings out like a sketch of like some a 36 room house with no toilet <laughs> baths or windows. <laughs> and then she's thinking like, what could make this girl entertained? And uh, then... She kind of realizes that she's sketching something and she's like what are you drawing and she's like oh like you know like i'm not going to tell you like, and she sees it and sees that it's a shark and then she realizes that she loves sharks she starts sketching a shark picture and she's like here you go and it was a nice sketch of a shark you know she drew it pretty nicely and obviously immediately haka says like oh this is so good and she's she's happy she's like oh like this is so fun and she's like uh, can you draw something else and she's like yeah sure a shark that's smiling and then she's like can we exchange my picture for this picture <laughs> and in the end we see her just having fun with her shark pictures and mai went home you know and uh, we see mai when she's going back and the rain has stopped you know i guess it probably indicates that she herself this is probably an indication of like you know how she probably wanted to make friends with Hakase and she knew that she you know Hakase did not like the whole dog situation that's why you know it was raining at the beginning you know inside her heart it was also probably she was probably you know not happy but then when Hakase and she finally are friends now it you know I guess that's kind of symbolizing the clear sky and the rainbow and inside her heart it's also sunny and she's happy or something like that because she gets up she sees the little picture that Hakase has drawn her and she's kind of smiling and yeah that's where it ends like I said like and this this last section was definitely her she she came here to make friends with Hakase she did not know what to you know what to um how to make friends with Hakase and that's why she was like trying different approaches like giving her uh, what do you call it uh, what is what's that called um the, the statue and you know the, the the picture and everything she was doing that and seeing that she Hakase was not happy but in the end when she realizes that it was sharks that she liked it gives her a shark picture and that's how she was able to make friends yeah and that's definitely she she probably felt bad you know for the previous incident 
there you go in the end we see that that that, that was nice nice little scene that's it that was this episode and uh, yeah so that's it guys thanks for watching this was my reaction to nichi joe episode number 23 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys so uh, i'll be back next week with another episode uh, this show is almost we're at the end 23rd episode this was today uh three more episodes left that means three more weeks obviously after this uh, season uh, this uh, show ends i'll replace it with something else i'll make a poll um after one or more than one week i'll make a poll of a few other slice of life animes that i myself am interested in and i'll make a poll on that just like i usually do you can go and uh, vote in that it'll be in the community tab and i'll tell like you know when i'll make the poll i'll tell you guys and uh, you can vote on that and i'll do the one that gets the maximum vote i'll replace that show with uh no this show with that show and uh, yeah it'll be a slice of life show you know like because i want to keep at least one slice of life show in my schedule you know and it'll probably be shows like not currently airing shows it'll probably be shows that i am interested in that i'm not watching there's a few shows that i'm like you know i'm kind of interested in to watch size of life for example k on um uh, non non beauty a few other shows as well like you know I'm, I'm, it's coming in my head I'll, I'll i'll kind of look at it you know like there's a few other shows like this that i do want to check out but i'll just make a poll of all of that and you guys can vote your favorite one and the one that will win i'll replace that uh this with that so anyways and that's in the future you know one or two weeks later i'll do it but either way i'll see you guys next week with the uh, uh with episode number 24 until then goodbye and have a nice day